Chair. Choice people doing choice things. My name's Piranga and Waka. It's my life. Waka ama, Waka taua, Waka haurua, anything Waka. Yeah, it's me, I'm in there. It's my older brother, Namaka. Kara, kara him? <laughs> He's not gonna answer. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I'm half Māori. On my dad's side, he's Māori, and I'm half Hawaiian on my mum's side of the family. That's how people know. No, I say it's just a Waka family. The longest trip that I've done is probably in 2011, when we sailed from Aotearoa here up to Hawaii, using all of the old methods in terms of navigation and wayfinding. Let's take birds for example, wind and swells. As long as you've got the stars and the sun, you're sweet. Probably the hardest part of the leg was that first, I'd say three, three weeks. It was really like ugly and really rough. You'd always be looking up at waves. You're sailing next to the other waka, seeing the other waka disappear behind the swells and stuff like that. When you're on the waka, all you're thinking about is what you have to do on, on the waka to get from A to B. People always ask, you know, are you scared? Fire your mental, you're crazy. Oh, nah. The moment you start questioning it, that's when it starts building in your head that oh something's gonna go wrong. But really, it's, it's all right. If something's gonna happen, like our tupuna will show us something. What our navigators were taught was that there's always going to be signs, like when you get to certain places. I said there was one time where we crossed the equator. Around that area, that's where all the bad weather and stuff is. We saw a meteor, like just shot across the back of the canoe. It's like a, just a, exploded like humongous ass into heaps of little pieces. And for us, that was our sign, or that was our tohu that, oh yeah, we've made it over the equator. There's a star, Hokulea, which is the star that's used to find Hawaii. The Southern Cross, almost right above us, over there. That's the star that you are gonna really wanna use to help get you to Aotearoa. We do waka because it's a part of our heritage. I guess it's a pathway for us to, to stay connected with all our relations throughout the Pacific. Yeah, all the cultures and stuff can change languages and that change. But you know, everyone's still got that, that one thing that connects us, which is waka. And smashed by waves, and like all these humongous as walls of the ocean just coming straight at you. I guess it's a thrill. Oh, for me, it's a thrill. 